Hey everyone, welcome to the Soul Song. My name is Nina. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are new here, welcome. Mm-hmm. And I hope you enjoy the channel. Um if you are returning here, thank you for being here again. So this is a general reading. It's a pick a card on what will this bring me. The intention that I've set here is uh to see exactly that what is this going to bring you this could be anything this could be a job offer you may be considering um a relationship that you may have just started uh it could be a contract an agreement it could be anything that is uh relatively new in your life and you're wondering uh what is this going to bring me This is another way of looking at uh, whether or not you should proceed perhaps with uh, like I said an offer or some kind of consideration some new alternative some new path okay so the choice is yours um you can decide the question um i mean the topic what it is going to be in your case especially and uh, set the intention and then see which pile calls out the most to you okay so um, i often use this question to ask about uh something that i am considering to pursue and uh, instead of asking whether or not i should take this path or yeah should i take path a or path b i ask specifically about an option and check what is this going to bring me on on the basis of that i can perhaps um see if it's more or less a uh, positive influence or a negative one okay so take your time if you need more time to select the the piles we have group number 1 this is clear quartz okay group number 2 is green aventurine and group number 3 is tiger sign okay so if you need more time you can pause but i'm going to go ahead with group number 1 all right so group number 1 for those of you who've chosen this first group let's see Oh. <laughs> so this is going to bring you in union in harmony I'm hearing with something or someone that is an equal match. I feel like you may be coming from two different very different directions. and meeting somewhere at a uh, a common point it could be that you are meeting someone who is likely to be a soulmate if you aren't in expecting anyone like this this could be a potential match that is coming your way if you walk this path this is what this path can bring to you if this is not about anybody else this is about you being in alignment with who you are meant to be in alignment with your higher self in alignment with your best version Okay. Nice. Message in a bottle. Okay. I feel like you've actually manifested this. You've sent out um the intention to the universe. You've put the message in the bottle and you've let it float in the ocean and you've been waiting patiently for this call. and now the reply is coming back to you 
this is an important message that is coming your way it's again going to bring a lot of peace and harmony and balance in your life is what i'm seeing with the number 15 here which comes down to six no turbulence no warning as such it's it seems to be a message of peace and harmony okay door to personal healing and happiness wow whoever this is who's picked up this pile uh, you're on the right path okay I'm seeing a lot of peace again here blossoming abundance um, blessings happiness again the message with the bird the dove here well that was a, that was a stalk but I'm also hearing change okay and it's a much what I'm hearing is you've prayed for this you've prayed for this change to happen in your life it's a brand new door that's opening and you have the sun inside you have the rainbow inside so a lot of blessings coming your way creation dream time yeah again i'm feeling like you have manifested this whatever it may be i feel like you've sent out this prayer to the universe they've heard you and now you're getting this echo it is echoing back to you and i feel like a lot of work has gone into this into manifesting this into your reality and what I'm hearing is they've had to put into place a lot of things for this to materialize in your life a lot has been happening behind the scenes okay you may have seen some signs of it in your dreams you may have just felt it you may have seen signs even otherwise. But it's something that uh, allows you to be really creative. It's opening a host of possibilities. Very creative energy. And I'm getting the feeling of um, the hangman with this also. Like you've had to dream this into reality and you've had to wait for the creation of this dream. Blessings. Wow. This is beautiful. I keep hearing answered prayer, okay? So whoever's chosen this, this is your answered prayer. And that is what this will bring you. This is a beautiful blessing. It's a rainbow after the storm, which you may have encountered already. I'm hearing everything is in is in its rightful place now <laughs> this is beautiful seventh chakra archangel uriel so you have been actually working perhaps with archangel uriel uh, if I'm not mistaken, Archangel Uriel has to do with a uh, career especially. Okay, it doesn't have to be about a career, but uh, I am seeing especially with the book here that she's holding. Um, 
you have been trying to communicate with spirit through your crown chakra trying to get information trying to get downloads and you have been getting downloads about this is what i'm feeling like you've intuitively known that this is going to work and this is going to happen and this is going to bring me happiness this is going to be a positive new beginning in my life it's a beautiful card and again changes i am seeing changes again with the number 5 here but these are good changes these are changes that you have actually asked for okay what i'm hearing is making peace with the past again with the number 4 here it is about balance and structure and perhaps this was missing in your life previously that is what this will bring back in your life again <laughs> again i'm feeling like you've actually prayed for this okay you've prayed for this to happen that is the strongest message that i'm getting here Wow, the world. This is a huge change in your life. Okay, the world is a culmination. It's the completion of a chapter in your life. It is a huge change. Something like perhaps relocating to another place altogether, getting married, stepping into a new cycle of life, graduating, things like that. an irrevocable change okay something that has huge effects on you on your life and it's liberating that is what i'm getting here you freed yourself from the past even though you may be still having one eye on the past you're appreciating the lessons that you've learned from there and you're ready to push into and step into the future with courage with confidence this is what this path is bringing you beautiful strategy <laughs> what i'm actually getting here is uh, this this has been written in your dis- destiny okay again with the number 3 here this is about creativity perhaps uh, this also has something to do with some kind of a contract it's like you finally found the key to the lock to unlock your destiny and with a compass here again i feel like this may actually involve something pretty big something huge some change um as big as perhaps moving to a different country I'm getting contract or agreement of some sort, okay? Could even be a license. Wow, happy family. <laughs> so, some of you are definitely asking about uh, marriage or a relationship that has the potential to turn into a marriage. Not everybody wants to get married, but that I'm just throwing that out there. again with the number 4 here it's something that you have waited for finally some stability in your life these are four individuals here 
and this doesn't have to be the traditional family i feel like your soul family is actually calling out to you whoever you're meeting or whatever you are coming into union with you're meant to it's part of your destiny there's a host of blessings and happiness here i'm seeing so many rainbows this is the third rainbow i've seen in this reading this is beautiful again the sense of purity starting from scratch something that is liberating you could be meeting your soul family or starting a family with somebody okay so that is what i have for you i hope you enjoyed this reading and um, i wish you all the very best and i'll see you again in some other video take care bye bye hi group 2 so for those of you who've chosen the screen adventure let's take a look at what is this bringing you king of cups i feel like you've had your sights at someone or something at a distance someone may be across shores someone at a distant land that is what i'm feeling here this is emotional stability it is maintaining your composure reaching the level of the king of cups maturing into an emotionally sound composed and balanced person this could be somebody else who is stepping into your life someone you can count on someone who can offer you real support someone who's sensitive kind caring nurturing <laughs> i'm hearing they'll take care of you okay so i feel like you can trust this person if this is not your energy wow yeah <laughs> speaking of trust yes uh this is someone who is meant to be What I'm hearing is open your heart to this person. You may have kind of locked your heart and thrown the key away is what I'm hearing. You may have been afraid to open up to somebody, trust somebody. Perhaps that is why I was getting the message that you can trust this person. They're going to be loyal, they're going to be nurturing and kind and they're going to look at you with a sense of equality okay there are no um power games being played here it's like you're a you're a mirror of each other this is nice and with the number 8 here 35 coming down to 8 to me that is the infinity symbol and that's also a sign of eternal love financial constraints okay again i'm not getting that message <laughs> what i'm getting is kind of like the four of pentacles energy I feel like you may have locked away a part 
of your being that is capable of loving that is capable of trusting and you're only half open to this idea it's almost like your that part of you has gathered uh, cobwebs because it's not been exposed to sunlight i'm hearing it's not been exposed to uh the idea of opening up and trusting for a long time with the number 4 here that is what i'm feeling the strong four of pentacles energy it is quite possible that you haven't perhaps opened up because you've um, had financial constraints but what i'm hearing is open the other door okay trust a little more perspective yeah so whoever is entering your life i strongly feel like it is a person whether this is a love interest or somebody who is helping you in your career someone who is perhaps a business partner i feel like this person is going to be instrumental in your life in the sense that they are going to help you see things from a different perspective from a bigger perspective okay i'm what i'm hearing is they will open your eyes to a different perspective to a different world rebirth nice so this is a very spring energy and spring is about abundance new freshness new cycles also cleansing you know we all talk about uh, spring cleaning but there's so much potential here this path is bringing you a whole lot of potential and i've just noticed for the first time there's an owl over here which i can only see half isn't that strange and with the eggs here also they symbolize a lot of abundance and fertility growth and potential and uh, the butterflies and the rabbit talk about transformation and the ability to for something to keep giving you back okay it's going to grow by multifolds okay so it's nice seems like you're embarking on a new path second chakra archangel ariel so this is the same uh, creative abundant energy i'm also sensing this beautiful warm peace and harmony what i'm hearing is it's in your hands for you to make this happen or grab it by both hands the second chakra is about creativity it is about sexuality as well perhaps that is what has been locked up safely not exposed for a very long time and this is going to evoke new sensations new feelings in you a lot of fresh energy okay so we have the knight of swords this i feel is some kind of a message or truths i'm hearing truths 
cutting truths. It's coming your way. It's going to come quickly. What I'm hearing is it's going to set things in momentum. It's going to get the ball rolling quickly. Whatever this message or information or missing information is for you. It's going to come fast. Okay, so this is what it was cutting through. <laughs> the Seven of Cups. So, what I feel is your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions have been clouded. You've perhaps not been able to make the right decision or choice for a long time. And this is what is cutting through all of that to bring clarity. This burst of clarity and truth. That is what I'm feeling here. It could be an epiphany, okay? It doesn't have to be something external. It could be an idea that you get suddenly that that's a breakthrough moment that helps you cut through or... Just uh, get rid of all this confusion. I'm also hearing state of stagnation that you may have been in. Cutting through illusions as well. Okay, it's quite powerful. door to spirit again with the message I'm getting messaging messages a message that's going to change things for you change perhaps your perspective change the way you look at things change your just bring about a change in your life okay could be quite big and your spirit team has made this happen or is making this happen it's almost like they've had to barge open. They've had to barge into your life and and uh, kick open the door for you to notice, for you to take notice and uh, pay attention to what's coming, to what they've been trying to say. It is going to bring some sort of change in your life, okay? Wow, so they've saved the best for the last. It is definitely going to change your life for the better. It doesn't really have to be only about money. What is this I'm seeing here? Wow, do I need to wear spectacles? Okay. This is also reminding me strangely of uh, a wedding card. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. With the green, with this red print here. I don't know. Maybe you could be invited to a wedding. Or this is ushering in your own wedding. Could be value. It is of something. It is something of value, okay? It doesn't have to be money, like I said, but it could be. It could involve material wealth, but wealth is of various kinds. Wealth is not just money. There's a lot of potential here. So I feel like you're moving from 
a place of lack a place of not trusting or not being in harmony with someone or something to a more trusting place to a more um to a place of more clarity and value it is indeed a rebirth okay and i feel like this is all being orchestrated by spirit because they've seen you perhaps losing faith not trusting even in them so that is what i have for you and i wish you all the very best this looks wonderful so take care and god bless i'll see you in another video bye bye Hi group 3 for those of you who've chosen this tiger's eye let's take a look at your reading what will this bring you okay that's not a pleasant card to see i know <laughs> what i'm hearing is it's been in inevitable it's an inevitable end perhaps you could see this coming it's not something that you have been unaware of it's been happening gradually over a long period of time you've been collecting these burdens you've been collecting this pain you've been collecting this hurt sorrow doubts limitations stress mental agony and it's taken a toll on you the number 10 is also the wheel of fortune in the major arcana which also talks about a cycle of life When you're feeling like this, the only way to go is up. I know it sounds <laughs> cliche, and no one likes to be in this position. But uh, some of the best lessons and some of the best uh, things, actually, in life, come from situations of darkness and hopelessness. <laughs> wow okay so serendipity pity is a stroke of luck it is something beautiful that you now can reach out to i feel like i'm getting this whole butterfly feeling from this it's almost like uh, yeah wow i never noticed that before you've really had to transform yourself in order for your situation to change and transform is what i'm hearing incidentally this is a number 9 and you're going back from the the 10 to the 9 but this i feel is a new direction it's come after a painful transition a painful transformation a painful cycle ending So this is good luck. This is things falling into place. Community. So there are two messages that I'm getting here. One is that for those of you who not had supportive people around you before this path is going to bring you the opportunity to network with other people build on friendships or make a uh, friends who are more like minded be surrounded by supportive people 
the second message is for someone who has unfortunately not had any uh, support group i'm also getting that you it's coming with a bit of a warning okay be a little careful about gossip and people perhaps being really nice to you on your face but not wanting your best uh, best interests you know but for most of you this is a positive development 7 is a very spiritual number for me and this could be your spirit team actually watching over you if this is not physical 3d friends and friendship okay solitude okay i feel like this is going to bring you the opportunity to do some soul searching is what i'm getting and with the purple tree here your crown chakra is being highlighted it's better trying to communicate to you perhaps there are still some dark clouds looming over and there's some reflection that you need to do some inner work which can only happen in solitude so perhaps this door this path this opportunity is going to bring you uh, a chance to retreat and uh, do some much needed soul searching so that you can get rid of any of these dark clouds that have been looming over for quite some time and get some clarity and find your inner light but you are protected okay that is what i'm feeling here you might think that you are alone but you're not you do have supportive people around you in case you need them power this to me is about waking up to your own power even though things around you may be quite chaotic quite unsettling maybe even volatile your inner being your inner strength is being highlighted here and whatever it is you're going through currently or on this path what's what's to gain on the other end is your personal power and taking your power back from whoever you might have given it to if people have made you feel small and insignificant this is going to give you the opportunity opportunity to stand why can't i speak to stand in your power to stand proud and tall i'm also hearing facing things alone okay you may have not um been able to face everything alone in your life you may have already always perhaps turned towards others for support but this is going to give you this immense strength to be able to stand up for yourself with or without other people's support
Okay. Yun yan. On the one hand, I'm feeling a lot of peace. On the other hand, a lot of passion. So this is a mix of the two. The lightning and the solitude. The solitude and the community. It's about strike, striking a balance between the two. And coming into harmony. Knowing when to be. I'm hearing don't be reactive. Okay, Be responsive but not reactive. Knowing when to respond to a situation. Knowing when to retreat. Knowing when to take action. Knowing when to take a step back. And receive. This is the sun and the moon energy. And it's also about bringing structure, bringing stability in your life, which happens when you strike this balance. So this is going to bring you the chance to bring balance back into your life. The Hierophant. What I'm feeling here is that a, you're going to come back to a sense of power. You're going to put into practice all of these lessons that you have learned throughout this difficult journey. And you're going to stand proud, stand tall, stand proud. And also perhaps be able to inspire other people. Through your journey. Be able to teach other people everything that you have learned. This could also be somebody significant coming at the right time to help you through all of these changes is what I'm feeling. Fives to me are about changes. And much needed, much necessary changes in your life. But this could also help you regain not just power but authority in your life. Okay? Where did that card go? Yeah. It's it's I'm getting the strong feeling of personal power coming back to your personal power through difficult lessons that I feel is the biggest takeaway from this reading. The hangman, yes, being able to see things from a different perspective. His crown chakra is lit up, it's highlighted. And through all of the blood that is flowing through his veins into his head region, he's being able to think more clearly. Get creative solutions is what I'm hearing. Creative solutions to your problems. The hangman is also a Pisces card. And Pisces also talks about endings and new beginnings. And your connection to source. Your connection to the divine. However you want to name. A lot of creative ideas is what I'm getting.
a necessary pause. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Magician and the mirror. Again, this yin and yang energy here. It's all about striking a balance. And with the number eight here, we do have the infinity symbol um, in the magician card in tarot as well. And above this angel's head as well. He's not an angel, he's perhaps a sage. I feel like you're coming into a strong sense of personal power. What can you do? What can you create? What you're really capable of doing? What are the limitations you may have set on yourself? Not taking into consideration anything that may have held you back, but now being your own guru, being your own teacher, relying on your own intuition, relying on your own ability to create something. Uh. This is quite powerful. Envy. Okay. Do you have reasons to be envious of someone else? We all do. Right? I feel that for most of you, you may be now understanding that there was perhaps nothing to be envious of in the first place, that you can actually make things happen on your own, despite your circumstances. For those of you who are perhaps asking about a job or some kind of a business, this is a bit of a mixed bag, but I feel like it's going to teach you some important lessons. It's going to propel you forward in a way that you are way more confident about yourself. And speaking of that, the tiger's eye is something that helps you with confidence. It keeps you grounded. It helps you make things happen. And I'm feeling that strongly here. There's an overwhelming theme of personal power and confidence. I feel that you may actually realize that you perhaps had nothing to be envious of in the first place. Or this is a cautionary message. In the sense that when you have this ability to be confident and create your own destiny and create what it is you want to with the world, with the power of the universe, with um, the divine, when you're able to do that, I feel that you may need some protection. 
because people around you may be a little envious of you also be careful about not um <laughs> not um putting yourself out there okay in the sense that trying to draw too much attention to yourself because that may actually bring some uh draw some negative energy also towards you so be careful with that for others of you i feel that for most of you in fact i feel that you are finally going to come to a place of harmony within yourself okay harmony a feeling whole feeling complete without having to depend on anyone else recognizing your personal power uh becoming your own guru and taking your own advice seriously okay which is what a lot of times we don't do it's easy to give other people advice but it's when it comes to ourselves we fail to listen to our own advice and taking back your power that you may have given to other people which may have resulted in this kind of a situation okay and realizing that you have enough that you don't need to look at other people you don't need to compare yourself with anyone else comparison comparison is probably the lowest form of um um it's probably the worst thing that you can do to yourself okay don't compare yourself with others is i feel one of this one of the messages here for you because what what else that will do is just tie you down okay it will anchor you down when you actually want to fly it uh, that's also a way of self sabotage and giving your power away you have everything within you you're whole you're complete you don't need to um you don't need anybody else to create your destiny create what it is you want for yourself okay so that is what this will bring you that's the reading for you i hope this was useful in some way if it was let me know and uh, i'll see you in another video do take care of yourself and god bless bye bye